Hello students, uh, this is the third video on cash book. Uh, already I made two videos with single and two column cash book introduction and solve problems. I will share the link of those videos in the i button in the description box as well as in the end screen. Please do watch those videos for better understanding of cash book 3. In this video I will cover 3 or triple column cash book. I will cover introduction and very important concept checks deposited concept right check deposit concept which is very significant and contra entry is also very important these basic concepts i will cover in this question besides two solved problems will be covered as well as homework of two university questions all these will be available in this video and this video will be a little bit lengthy please be patient and watch this video when you come to the triple column or three column cash book three column here refers to discount cash and bank columns all these three columns will be available in one cash book so cash book with discount cash and bank column is called as three column cash book the object of this cash book is to find out the cash and bank balance at one place which constitutes the total funds available with the firm whereas both the discount columns that is debit side and credit side represents the total discount received on the debit credit side and debit side total discount allowed. So in this way we will present three columns that is discount cash and bank right. Then how to prepare cash book. So in order to prepare cash book it is quite easy prepare the format I will show you the format down the line once you prepare the format opening cash balance will be written as two balance brought down because cash book is an asset cash is an asset bank is also an asset if it is positive balance if it is negative it is a liability so precisely you have to write opening cash balance as two balance brought down in cash column as well as in the bank column provided if you find any bank overdraft then you have to write in cash book credit side by balance brought down bank overdraft being a liability in the sense we have excess withdrawn liability shows credit balance therefore it will be recorded on the credit side then all the receipts all the money which is received will be recorded on the debit side and all the cash payments will be recorded in the cash column and check receipt and check payments will be recorded in the bank column right so receipts will be recorded on the debit side of the cash column as well as bank column all the payments will be recorded on the credit side of the cash column and bank column if any discount received while making the cash payments then it will be recorded on the credit side if any discount is allowed will be recorded on the debit side this is the general procedure and the most significant is check deposited concept right this is very important if checks is received and deposited in the bank on the same day if you find a transaction in the question checks received from xyz and deposited on the same date it should be entered in the bank column of the cash book on the debit side right how to identify whether check is received and deposited sometimes you will find in the question check received from xyz and deposited on the same day if you don't find that you go through the further transaction wherein you can find check deposited if it is not given then standard assumption is received on the same date and deposited on the same day if any date is given with regards to deposit of the check then it is a different treatment check received deposited in the bank in the later date in such a case when check is received the standard procedure is what entries we pass when we receive a check that is checks in hand account data to xyz's account in the sense we will open a new account called as checks in hand account therefore it will not be recorded in the cash book please bear in mind if the check is received and deposited in the later date on the later date then it will not be recorded in the cash book because it is not at all deposited right but when we make deposit 
on the later date then what we will write the entry will be bank account data to checks in hand account in the sense we will close this checks in hand which we have opened in the first entry right then it will be recorded in the bank column of the cash book as to checks in hand or checks for collection either way you can say right but bear in mind whenever you don't find any information pertaining to the deposit of checks you should presume that the check has been deposited on the same day and it will be debited in the cash book in bank column. Right? You try to understand this concept. I hope I made you understand this crux. The concept crux. When you come to the contra entry, which is very, very significant and important one, what is contra entry? Contra entry is a transaction which affects both the columns of the cash book. That is cash column as well as bank column. For such entries, the letter C is written in LF column on each side to indicate that the contra effect of this transaction is recorded on the opposite side even. Next, contra entry transactions. What are the transactions? The contra entry first transaction is cash deposited in the bank or paid into bank. These are the, this is the first contra entry transaction. What will happen when you deposit cash into bank? The entry will be bank account data to cash account. In the sense, the bank column as well as cash column, both the columns are getting affected. Wherein, when you deposit the bank, cash in the bank, then bank balance will increase and cash balance will decrease. The same reflection, same transaction, same way we will write in the cash book right when cash bank balance increases in bank column we write to cash in bank column when cash column decreases we write by bank in cash column so cash credited de uh, decreased bank debited increased the second transaction is cash withdrawn from bank for office use right bear in mind only office use if it is personal use it is not a contra entry Please try to remember, whenever cash received from bank for office use, the entry is cash account data to bank. What will happen in this transaction? You will withdraw the cash and you will get the cash into your office. So what will happen? Your bank balance will decrease when you withdraw from bank and the cash is coming into the organization wherein your cash balance will increase. For that, the ledger posting, that is cash book posting will, will be as cash balance has increased, therefore, on the debit side, we write to bank in cash column, the amount is. In credit, on credit side, we write by bank, by cash, sorry, by cash in bank column, right. In this way, you need to record. These two are the contra entry transactions. Other than this, there is no contra entry transaction. Please bear in mind. Cash received from for cash withdrawn for personal use is a drawing, not a contra entry. Our cash paid into bank, deposited into bank is also a contra entry. I hope I made you understand the contra entry transaction. Format of triple column cash book. This is the format wherein we find date, particulars, LF, discount, cash, bank. Again, the same date, particular, LF, discount, cash, bank. Cash book, debit and credit, right? So we'll take up this question, right? In this question, we have given cash in hand, cash at bank, paid into bank, deposited into bank, 500 is a contra entry, brought goods uh, for check, purchase furniture for cash, received cash from sham, discount allowed, drew from bank for office use. This is also a contra entry, received from Prakash a check, discount allowed, check of Prakash returned by the bank as dishonored. So these transactions we are asked to post into a three column cash book. You can find the answer here. So when you see the answer, how did I prepare this answer? How did I uh, enter the transaction in this cash book? On December 1st, I have written two balance brought down. That is cash balance is 1800 in cash column, bank balance 13,000 in bank column. Then on December 2nd, paid into bank, in the sense deposited into bank. This is a contra entry. When you pay into bank, what will happen? Your bank balance will increase. Bank account data to cash and cash balance will decrease. So on December 2nd, on debit side, you find two cash 
I have written in the bank column. Therefore, bank balance has increased by 500. Whereas on the same day, you will find on the credit side by bank 500 in cash column. Cash has been received. Uh, sorry, decreased. So this transaction has been represented with C represented with C in LF column. On both the side, on 2nd December transaction, you will find word C. Right? Third transaction is goods. Bought goods for check. In the sense, we purchase goods and payment made by check. So by purchases, as we made the payment by check, we are writing in the bank column, 1300. Then purchase furniture fact cash. So we have purchased furniture by furniture. Amount is 400 written in the cash column as payment is made by cash. Received cash from Sham 9th December. So on 9th December we wrote to Sham discount is 10 rupees and amount cash received is 790. Then drew from bank for office use. Again this is a contra entry. When we withdraw money from bank from office use cash balance will increase and bank balance will decrease. So we wrote on 12 December to bank amount of 400 in cash column since the cash balance increased. And on the same date by cash in bank column since the bank balance has been decreased with the 400 rupees. And represented with C in the LF column both the sides. Then received from Prakash a check. As I told you whenever we receive a check we must see did we provide any date pertaining to deposit no date so therefore standard assumption is deposited on the same day therefore to prakash 20 rupees discount and in bank column itself directly we have result written 600 rupees clear and finally the last transaction 15th december by sorry check of prakash return dishonored whatever check which was given by prakash was dishonored so when we received the check we have written on the debit side when it gets dishonored Obviously, we should nullify the transaction by writing on the credit side. Therefore, we have written by Prakash account in bank column 600 rupees so that the transaction will get nullified. Clear? Then we have closed the account. We found debit balance more in both the sides and we got the balancing figure by balance carried on on the last day of the month 2090 11,800 rupees. This will be the carried on balance. Again, this balance will be shown as two balance brought down and John first 2090-11800. And regarding the discount, we made the totals of discount. That is 30 rupees and discount received. We don't have anything. So in this way, we need to prepare the cash book. I hope I made you understand. We'll take a one more question. So in this question also, we have provided the information. Very quickly, I will explain cash in hand. Cash at bank to balance brought down and I have written then received check from Indra with discount. Whenever we receive a check we need to see is any information provided re related to deposit of check. So Indra check paid advertisement we don't have any information regarding the deposit of Indra check. Therefore what is the standard assumption we assume that on the same date it has been deposited. Therefore on June 3rd. We have written to Indra account discount 32 and in bank column we have written amount is 868. Paid for advertisement by check. By advertisement in bank column. Cash sales to sales in cash column. Then paid salaries by salaries in cash column. Amount withdrawn from bank for office use contra entry. 9th June. So amount withdrawn from a, a bank from office use so cash balance will increase so to bank in cash column 800 by cash in bank column 800 then drawn cash for personal use so by drawing in cash column we have written 400 then issued a check in favor of jk rao discount received so by jk rao discount column 50 and bank column 790 since we have issued a check the payment has been made by bank. Then uh, received a check from Dinesh and discount allowed. Whenever we receive a check, we need to see is there any transaction with relevant to deposit of check? No transaction. Therefore, we have deposited on the same day. It is the standard assumption. So on June 18 to Dinesh discount column 26 in bank column 986 as we have deposited on the same day. Then 
सेल ऑफ मशीनरी रिसीव बाय चेक टू मशीनरी कैश रिसीव इज फोर थाउजेंड बैंक रिटर्न चेक ऑफ दिनेश डिजॉनर बाय दिनेश अकाउंट वेन एवर डिजॉनर टेक्स प्लेस इट विल बी क्रेडिटेड नाइन एटी सिक्स एज वी वॉन्टेड टू नलीफाई द डेबिट ट्रांजेक्शन बिकॉज वी डिड नॉट रिसीव एनी मनी देन न्यू मशीनरी परचेज बाई इशू ऑफ चेक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बाई मशीनरी अकाउंट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन बैंक कॉलम सिंस वी मेड द पेमेंट इन चेक देन बैंक चार्जेस एज पर पासबुक वेन एवर यू फाइंड बैंक चार्जेस प्लीज बेर इन माइंड इट विल बी क्रेडिटेड बाई बैंक चार्जेस इन बैंक कॉलम ट्वेंटी रुपीज वंस इट इज डन वी हैव क्लोज कैश कॉलम वी हैव क्लोज डेबिट साइड इज मोर टू जीरो थ्री जीरो एंड वी गॉट द बैलेंसिंग फिगर टू बाई बैलेंस कैरी डाउन नाइन एटी रुपीज but when you check the bank balance bank column credit item is more credit transactions are more and balance and the total of credit is more that is 22896 credit is more the same is written on the debit side therefore we are getting the balancing figure on the debit side to balance carried out 7842 in the sense what it is overdraft we have excess withdrawn from the bank it is called as overdraft clear so the same will be written as two balance brought down 980 cash balance by balance brought down 7842 this is the credit balance since overdraft is a liability it will be the credit balance so this is the way we need to close discounts we made the summation of debit as well as credit ultimately debit total will go goes to discount allowed account credit total will goes to discount received account so in this way you need to prepare cash book i have given my best to explain you i hope you understood please uh, do subscribe my channel and motivate me because if you don't subscribe we will not get motivated to make more informative videos right the subscription is very important so you can make the payment uh, in uh, in thanks button also you will find on my videos you are motivated you if you make any payment that will be a fee kind of a thing that will be a ultimate motivation for us to make more videos so these are the two questions of usmania university previous question papers i have uh, taken and kept it here so you try to practice this problem this is one question which was asked in 2017 paper and one more question 2021 paper please do practice do try to solve these problems i will try to put the answers in description box if you don't understand if even i will be making next video in that i will take up the university questions where i will solve these two problems even it will be practice for you clear so i hope i made you understand and i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video subscription is very important do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos thank you very much